What is up? What is up? What is up, y'all? I'm gonna make another video about my reaction to the 10 hours of harassment in New York City. First video in a bit of a rush, so I didn't really point it out all the things I wanted to point out in this video. But there is one major thing that is missing in the 10 hours of harassment New York City video is white men. If you notice that video, most of the men who were catcalling and harassing Shoshana Roberts were black and Hispanic men. So one white guy who passed by made the comment nice, but he was the only white guy that was shown in that video. Supposedly from what the video maker said on Reddit, like half the white guys he captured in the 10 hours capturing the video were white, but unfortunately they had sound issues so they were edited out the final video. That's a weak excuse because most of the, most of the video has subtitles capturing what the person said in the first place. So don't try to BS us by saying like you cut off the white guys because there's sound difficulty. What I want to make out is there was a guy who did a reaction to that video, three hours of harassment in New York City. He was catcalled by women and gay men. Some of which was more aggressive than in the original 10 hours harassment video which was mostly compliments or have a nice day. Goes to show you that attractive women and attractive men will be approached by that certain person. It's human nature. What, what are feminists trying to do to like cut off social interaction between the sexes? They want to pass laws so only the high value men can have access to the woman they are attracted to. Think about it. Y'all think? Leave a comment below. Give me a like if you feel what I'm saying. Dislike if you disagree. And please subscribe. Out.